Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The rising heavyweight prospect Dan Yuduwa will round out 2019 with a fight against Japanese heavyweight Kyotaru Fujimoto. This fight will be at the Copper Box Arena in London on December the 21st. And not only that, this fight will actually have a relatively significant uh, minor WBC title on the line, the WBC silver title. And this was a belt that Dillian White held up until his last fight when he won the interim championship. So this title in the WBC hierarchy is actually a decent piece of hardware and he will vault up the rankings when he does beat Kyotaru Fujimoto because make no mistake about this, Fujimoto is severely overmatched here. He really is. Since his uh, only loss in it back in 2012 to journeyman Solomon Hamono, Fujimoto has been treading water, not really doing too much, not really fighting at any real significant level. And in the past year, he's had two fights against the same opponent, who was a former sort of middleweight slash super middleweight, Sutat Kalalek. And that guy, those fights, not very good at all. And you can find those on Daily Motion. But in the context of this fight and Fujimoto, yeah, it's not going to end well for him. This will go a couple of rounds tops. It may even be over in the first round. And I don't think that Fujimoto is coming to win. I seriously believe that he is coming for the paycheck. And I believe that because of statements that he's previously made to Sky Sports when he was interviewed. This was some time ago now. And effectively, he said he wants to fight for the world title and then retire. So not fight and win the world title, but just fight for it and retire, presumably after a loss. So for me, looking at this, him having accepted this fight after having fought at no real level in recent years, for me, this is a complete cash out fight for the 33 year old Japanese fighter. And I'll get to the um, press release and some comments uh, in a bit. But yeah, I'm not exactly impressed with this fight. Uh, Daniel Dubois, and uh, you can see here on screen, says it's official. I'll be collecting another belt for Christmas see you on December 21st and I don't doubt that Fujimoto is going to get absolutely demolished and anyone that says this is going to be competitive even for stretches for me that's just pure nonsense if you have watched any of Fujimoto's recent fights which have been at a very low level he's actually had a minor title in the WBO which kept him somewhat relevant uh, somewhat high in the WBO rankings but because he wasn't fighting eventually he got dropped from the rankings in the last couple of months he did actually go as high as I think it was a sort of six or seven in the WBO rankings last year but because of inactivity and the caliber of opponent uh, he's just sort of dropped down and he's been dumped by the WBO rankings in recent months. Currently, he holds a WBA ranking of 12. But you would have to ask on the basis of his opposition, and let's have a look at it at the moment. How? How has he managed to stay in the rankings or get into any rankings? This is Zutat Kalalek, as I mentioned. So fought him twice in a row and he won both of those fights. And I, I, I urge you to go and watch those fights. Terrible viewing. If anyone believes that Fujimoto is going to go any length of time in this fight, I think you're sorely mistaken. But other fights here, and because he did have this uh, WBO Asia Pacific heavyweight title, uh, fighting journeyman for it. And it, it's not even clear for his most recent fight, Sutat Kalalek, if it was even on the line there, according to BoxRec. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But for me, I see this as purely a cash out fight by Fujimoto, who doesn't really seem to exhibit the desire to want to be a heavyweight. Clearly, he wants a payday and wants to get out of the sport. And at 33 years old and having achieved nothing since that uh, loss in 2012, uh, which was to uh, Solomon Hamono, really, he has done nothing. And look at the names here on the record. There's nothing really of note, nothing to suggest that he is anywhere near Daniel Dubois' level. And in the press release, which I'll get to now, Daniel Dubois is being very uh, courteous uh, towards Fujimoto, who, who he is just going to tear down and knock out. If not on the first round, it will be before two rounds. If this goes more than two rounds, I will be completely shocked, utterly shocked. But um, Dubois says uh, of facing Fujimoto, of why this fight has been made. I wanted to defend my British title, but no one would step up to fight me. 
me. I want to be fighting world champions within the next 12 months and when the opportunity to fight for the WBC silver title was made available, a belt that Dillian White held until his last fight, I jumped at it. I'll also be defending my WBO international title I won in my last fight. See, I'm still, you know, I just don't know how that this fight has been signed off for that title, given where Fujimoto has been. But obviously, because he was recently ranked in the WBO um, rankings, he's a ranked fighter in the WBA at 12. Maybe the WBC was just like, yeah, fine. And I think the WBC is interested in Daniel Dubois and what he could do potentially down the line in their sanctioning body so i think they will be open to um, having fights of this caliber to get daniel dubois to start paying sanctioning fees working the way up their rankings and sort of start to ensnare him and make sure that he makes a title run down at their belt at some point it's not going to be in the next year and the comments there about fighting world champions in the next 12 months it's not going to happen because um, Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua, the winner of that, will be taking care of mandatories next year. And Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, they're going to be fighting earlier in the year. I can't see at any point at which Daniel Dubai would be fighting world champions next year. But maybe they are sort of finessing the language there because it might be more of he might start fighting former world champions in 2020. I could see that guys like a Charles Martin or something like that uh, moving to that level. Guys who have once held a belt no longer, but you know you can start trading off some of the credit from their name by picking up a win over them. So Dubois says uh, Fujimoto has a good rating and is a great stepping stone on my path to the top. It's being extremely generous there. It's a step, not a great stepping stone in my opinion. And if you think I'm a little bit down on this fight, well, yeah, I just don't know. It, one, it's really curious that Fujimoto's just accepted accepted it that it's been made but it's not going to be competitive to me after having watched some of his recent fights this is going to be similar to the Ebenezer Tete uh, fight I believe that the first couple of significant punches that land from Dubois who's the much bigger man six foot five to Fujimoto six foot uh, Fujimoto is either going to go down in a screaming heap or it will be effect just a matter of time after he takes a significant punch so Dubois also says he will have his own ambitions and I know he was rumored before to be considered for a fight with Anthony Joshua but I will be knocking that ambition out of him on December 21st when I knock him out now seriously that sort of talk is just nonsense that was obviously clearly just a rumor because there was nothing ever behind that and if Joshua or any other champion had have fought Fujimoto, they would have been pillared for dropping down to that level. There was talk that Joseph Parker at one point in time when he held the WBO title may face Fujimoto. But for people that were following Parker's career, they knew that was a gross mismatch at that time. But he was never seriously considered to fight Anthony Joshua. That really is sort of gilding the lily. And Frank Warren, he says, this is all about continually increasing Daniel's experience and levels against tough opposition. He's made huge and rapid strides in a short space of time and Fujimoto will present the ideal and legitimate test at this point of time. Well, I completely disagree with this. This is a gross mismatch. Uh, so he continues, Daniel cannot afford to underestimate Fujimoto and I'm sure he won't. Fujimoto is ranked highly by the WBO, who incidentally are the only governing body not to include Daniel in their top 15. So hopefully this is another box he will be able to tick with an impressive performance on December 21. A win here we'll see Daniel ranked by all the major organizations and it probably will let's face it this fight is all upside for Daniel Dubois he defends his WBO international title he will pick up the WBC silver title and likely he will turf Fujimoto out of the WBA rankings and be in himself in the next update after that fight of course so that would be what the end of December but make no mistake this is not a great fight this is just as Frank Warren says ticking some boxes to get a few things for Daniel Dubois Fujimoto is not a tough test he won't um, test Dubois to any extent and this is going to be over early what do you make of it all drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared I'm out